For a long time, I've wanted an electric standing desk, and now I've got one. After years of using cheap, lightweight, IKEA-type desks, I now find myself spending more and more time sitting at my desk editing videos, which I know just isn't good for you. So I've been in the market for a standing desk for some time, and May decide have been good enough to send me one of their most popular versions for me to put together and try out. So, for the first time ever, I'm going to try a standing desk. I need to undo this and see if I can find some instructions. This is the Mady site S2 Pro Plus electric standing desk and computer table. It comes in two boxes, the frame and mechanism in one and the top in the other. And there's various different color combinations you can get. I've gone for the white legs with the light wood top. The first thing that strikes me as I'm unboxing the frame components is the feel and weight of them. It's clear to me before I even put this together that this isn't gonna be a lightweight, flimsy desk. After a quick read through the instructions and a check to make sure everything was there, time to start bolting these bits together. The set comes with an Allen key and a bag of different bolts and screws of various sizes, all clearly labelled. Other than the two screws which I needed a screwdriver for, all of the other fixings were bolts that fit this Allen key. Within a couple of minutes, I had my first leg complete, which meant that the second one went together even quicker. Well, hey. One thing I did appreciate was during the assembly, every hole and thread lined up with no problems. The frame had obviously been drilled properly and the powder coating hadn't closed up any of the holes. That's a common problem when you fix these types of things together. With the frame just about complete, I opened up the desk top, and I must say it's nice to see things like this protected properly for transit, including some fairly hefty corner pads on, well, the corners. With the top face down, it's very easy to mate it with the frame and line up the fixing holes. M6 by 14 machine screws. This is the first time in this installation where I've actually had to really think about something. And that's because at this stage, when you're putting the frame onto the top, it would appear that some of these tops are pre-drilled like this one. So all the holes are already there, very easy just to bolt it on. But there's also some that are not pre-drilled, which means you have to drill yourself. Now, if you have to drill yourself into the underside of a desk top, I would highly suggest not drilling too deep. With the frame attached to the top, next comes the electric, starting with the controller. I saw some suitable holes near me and I was just about to fix it in this position 
before I realised that if I did, the controller would end up on the left hand end once I turned it all the right way round. So before attaching it, I changed tact and found that the same holes were at the other end, which means it's up to you which side you can mount the controller. The main electrical box clips nicely to the underside and all the cables plug into it with no way of getting this wrong because they all use different shaped plugs. Lastly, I plugged in the power cable and then got on with arranging the wires. The motors in this desk are hidden in the legs and can lift apparently up to 105 kilograms, which is over 200 pounds, which is far more, I'm sure, than most will ever be asked to lift. With the cables tidied up, the cover can be screwed on to hide all the wires and the electrics. And taking the plastic off that last foot means that the assembly is now complete. And to be honest with you, that was pretty straightforward. There's only half a dozen bits and pieces to bolt together. As is traditional, I've still got some screws and nuts and bolts left over. And I think that's because the bag that all the screws come in is not just for this desk, it's for other desks as well. Well, I hope it's like that anyway. I can't see anywhere else where I'm gonna put them. Uh, I still need to do a bit of cable management with the two cables that are coming out of this box, but I can do that when it's the right way up. So all I need to do is now turn it the right way up. And unfortunately, this is where I have to, um, let's say, depart from the instruction manual, because in the instruction manual says that you need at least two people to turn it the right way up. Now, there's only me here, so, don't do this at home, children, but I'm going to have to turn it over on my own. Although this isn't a light desk, it's not really that difficult to turn over or manoeuvre about on your own. With it plugged in for the first time, the desk needs to be calibrated, which sounds much grander than it really is. A long press of the down button puts it into this mode, and then another long press moves it all the way down to the lowest position, and then up a touch, and it's done. Well, hey! This desk is apparently suitable for people up to six foot three tall. I'm six foot tall, and at its highest, it's chest height to me, 127 centimetres to be exact. Wow. Now I'm pretty tall, but I'm not that tall. With the desk at the top, I took the opportunity to fix some more of the supplied cable clips, just to make sure that all the cables are well out of the way. So now I've had a quick read of the instructions, I understand how to program this, 
and how to use it. It is very simple. So the up and down buttons obviously just control it up and down. And it is quite sensitive, so you can actually move it just literally a few millimetres, but just by giving it a small press. There's four program buttons, so you can preset four different heights. All you need to do is press M and then program the number. And then from now on, every time you press that number, it will go back to that position. So it's incredibly easy. It also has a USB socket in the side, which is handy for charging your phone. And although you can set the top and the bottom limits of travel, if things go wrong, the anti-collision system stops it automatically and reverses it a couple of inches. If you'd like to see more details of this desk, or the other types of standing desks that made his site sell, there's a link in the description below. And as we're rapidly approaching Black Friday, there's reductions on these desks if you use the code MA30. All of that detail is in the description below. So I'm really impressed with this desk. This controller works exactly like you hope it would. It's really fine going up and down, fairly quick and really easy to program in, just takes seconds. And even at chest height, like it is at the moment, it's pretty stable. I think it's more stable at chest height than my cheap IKEA desk at waist height when you use a chair. So I'm really pleased with it and the size is great as well. So it'd be interesting to see how I get on. Maybe at chest height is a little bit too high. Maybe I'll just have put it down a little bit. I don't know. I've never used one of these before. So I hope you've enjoyed this video. If you have, please check out the other ones on the channel and please subscribe. And go and have a look at our Patreon page where there's additional content every week. So as they say, I will see you next time.